bus morning friends and folks. Today is November 4, 2022. Let's dive right into today's <clears throat> today's lesson is authenticity. We have a quote of Galatians 6 4 or a scripture. Each one should test his own actions. And we have a quote from and Father Andrew. I ain't saying Father, I just say Andrew. He ain't my dad. <laughs> and I ain't calling another man Father or another man Rabbi. Real holiness has a fragrance about it, which is its own. Yes, indeed. Had to give Todd his burrito there. <clears throat> okay, so we got inward. What is the treasure, or what is the measure of hypocrisy? <laughs> treasure of hypocrisy. What is the measure of hypocrisy? <clears throat> it is defined by acting contrary to your feelings. It is pretending to be someone you're not. We know the act of holy while harboring sin is hypocrisy. And a born is a born again child of God who acts contrary to the new nature, also a hypocrite. I would think so. Believers easily get drawn out of the course of authentic faith. <clears throat> On the one hand, we can quickly become pretenders acting outwardly according to others' expectations or even according to biblical standards while cultivating corruption within. We appear sanctified, but we're not. On the other hand, we can become so open to our impulses and so transparent in our indulgences that we are not authentic, but not very sanctified. It's a confusing balance that we need to ask the question, is a holy life a hypocritical life? Is an authentic life an indulgent one? And sanctified just means separated from the world. We must find that balance. We must avoid hypocrisy, but embrace the call to holiness. There's a difference between pretending to be who you're not and disciplining yourself to be who you ought to be. The hypocrite will begin holiness with no commitment to it. But the authentic, sanctified person will embrace God's will, seek to live it outwardly, and openly confess both the inward struggle inward struggle to do so and the failures that will inevitably come. Purity does not have to imply pretense. In fact, if it's real, it never will. And that's what these videos are always about. This is why I make them. Indeed, the conclusion. Don't fall flat for the lie that if you are contrary to to your feelings, you're a hypocrite. Excuse me. The truth isn't always about feelings. If you struggle with simple thoughts, confess them. Openly and trustworthy people and let them help you through your struggles. But do not indulge, indulge those struggles in the name of avoiding hypocrisy. At the other extreme, do not <clears throat> be so focused on your image that you become inauthentic. Don't pretend to be holier than you are. A holy consecrated life does not need to put put on airs does not need to put on airs and transformation its transformation is more than skin deep so going beyond the flesh going into the tablet of the heart is where the spirit is the spirit tells us what to do and all it gives us all the answers so that our all the years of our life will be satisfying we can laugh without fear of the future when things are going so wrong it almost seems like you want to fall apart. You dig in more because you know that the Lord has unfailing love and love suffers long and endures everything. As far as his purity is silver and gold, the Lord has the heart. If you fell under pressure, your strength is too small. So, Lord, I give you my weakness. I give you these things that are weighing me down. For I am perplexed but not destroyed. And I know you're going to lift me up. I know you're going to fire off even more hotter in my heart than ever before. So that I keep on keeping on. And that this thing that is bringing me down, I'm going to rise up over. Not because of my way, but because of your way higher than always. I put on the helmet of salvation to the gospel of shots my feet so that I'm a messenger of your good news. Rushing to, to tell the others that they need to be in this race before it is all said and done. There is no greater love than to sacrifice one's life for one's friends. And this is what Ndaka Lakosha Jesus Christ did for you and me. So through that way, Lord, I am authentic. But only because you are my high priest, and I'm the world priest in the line of your way higher than always in the order of Melchizedek. So there it is. There's authenticity for you. Be blessed today. You don't have war path.